Hey y'all, what's up? We're back. Look, I had a lot of content from cruising the coast to do and uh, give me a little break to do a bunch of shorts and some videos I didn't have to be in because I'm still not used to talking to a camera. In the meanwhile though, I uh, hooked the Suburban up for its intended purposes to the trailer. Pre-runner coming up very shortly. And uh, found this little guy. It's 2000, 4.8. Guy says the motor's blown. But the transmission's good. But uh, I don't know if y'all noticed, it's missing two doors. Pretty straight little truck. Yeah, used the bumper to tow something. A little damage here. The other side's a little worse. That ain't anything I can't take care of though. It's a uh, clean, straight little truck. It's an LS. It's kind of dirty. But for the most part, it's fully loaded. It's all to power everything. And uh, yeah. So we got a short bed, regular cab to do on modified. The plan is to take out the 4.8 and the 4L60. The 4L60 works. I have a red project truck that I started on. I got it running, but the 4L60 is down overdrive and third. That just means second's going to come and it's going to have first and reverse like when they go out, that's how they all do. So the plan is, I got this 06. Silverado started making a pre-runner. And they're like, dude, you live in Louisiana. Why are you making a pre-runner? Because I think they're freaking cool. I mean, who doesn't want to go ripping through the desert 100 miles an hour over whatever? I also have a 30-foot scarab, which, uh, you know, who doesn't want to go 60, 70 miles an hour in some rough water and whatever? So it's kind of the same similar thing. I've always had this desire to go fast over rough stuff. Nevertheless, I bought this truck in 09 for 70,000 on it. It now has 250 and the 5.3 is far from worn out. The rear end, I'm on my third rear end. The stock Chevy 10 volt ain't worth a crap. And we all know about the 4L60, it's a car transmission. It'll hold up for a little while in your Camaro or Corvette, but in something that weighs over 4,500 pounds, not so much. So the plan is to, <clears throat> Take the transmission out of this truck, 4L60, which is missing third and overdrive. Put the transmission from the regular cab in this truck, make it work, sell it for some profit. I was gonna build this for my son, but I come across a little short truck, which is just a way funner truck. I mean, it's like driving a car, but it's a truck, short wheelbase, light, everything you want. So, this will get the stock transmission out of the regular cab. And this will get the 480 I picked up and a ATK 5.3 freight motor. The whole idea for this is I wanted a Raptor, but I can't afford a Raptor. And I already had this truck, so I'm gonna build me a Raptor. It's got a mid-travel suspension kit, uh, it has the Beaver 10 leaf springs in the rear, and believe it or not, that's already got a three inch drop shackle in the rear. The front has F 150 springs and tubular upper control arms with the ball joint correction. It's a mid travel kit that I kind of piece and parted together because they listed the part numbers on it. I forgot the website, but I'll let you know in a second. And, um, all new ball joints, all new bushings, Bilstein shocks, F-150 springs. I put, oh, and it also has a, a four inch lift spindle in the front from Rush Country. So it's a Rough Country lift spindle, stock lower, tubular upper with a Ford F-150 spring. They gave me a total of uh, eight inches lift in the front. 
And in the rear, that's the Beaver 10 leaf. I think it was a 12 inch lift in the rear over the stock. And um, I have some two inch drop hangers for this to kind of adjust my pinion angle correct and still keep that big spring. And in the rear, that long travel drop shackle. So the rear is supposed to have 16 inches of travel. The front's supposed to have 10. With a 450 horse crate motor, 430 torque, which is kind of like the specs of the 3.5 turbo Raptor. Uh, suspension is kind of like the specs of the 3.5 Raptor. The only thing I don't have is the reservoir shocks. Bills will come, but for now the bills seems to work because I have nothing to jump around here. It's the Southeast Louisiana. Everything's flat and muddy and mud riding does not work. I've had my share of mud riding. I'm tired of cleaning stuff, especially once you let it dry under there. Thank you to the owner of the Suburban. But this dude here is going to be bad. The plans for the regular cab here are to take the 5.3 out of the extended cab. Truck Norris NSR cam. The 4L60 in it is built, but I sheared a sun gear or something. And when it goes in a second, it locks up the drive line completely. So taking the transmission out of the red truck, using the good parts in that transmission to go back in the transmission in the gray truck, the gold truck's transmission will go in the red truck. There's a dump truck. So I got some transmission swapping to do. And uh, hopefully when I get done all this, I'll have a sold project, uh, off-road project, and a street ride project, all trucks. Here's Modifieds, first project, Chuck, besides the Suburban. That was just like a build it to use it truck. This one's gonna be freaking nasty. I'm thinking like 2600 stall, Norris NSR cam, 36 pound injectors, not turbo, just build a nice, nice NA motor. And uh, here kid, happy first truck. So here we are modified, suburban, trailer, project truck, project truck. It's going to be fun y'all, hang with me, we're going to do some fun stuff here, next.